course, members get access to all the facilities. Very the good, and Vincent. <laughs> Very good. You managed not to frighten them away this time. Wonderful. We are making progress. Right this way, sir. Welcome. Welcome to the Diamond Casino Spa and Resort. We are finally open for business. I'm Tom Connors, Executive Director of Guest Services. Unfortunately, as Vincent mentioned, we are a membership-only establishment as far as our facilities are concerned. Regulation, for now. And I see you've already signed up. That is wonderful. Welcome. <laughs> ah, champagne. I'll take those. Uh, let me show you around. Oh, the boss. Miss Baker, I'd like you to meet our newest member. And this is Miss Agatha Baker, our general manager. Thank you, Tom. Good to meet you. Enjoy your time with us. Tom, are you going to give them a little tour of the resort? Of course, madam. Oh, and uh, um, so far, no sign of the Texans. I should hope not. But let's talk another time. OK. So come with me, please. Uh, that is where I normally work. If you come see me, I will help you get the most out of our facilities, especially for all our VIP members. Over here is our bar area, the solitaire. That's our head bar woman, Josephine. Hey, Josephine. Tom, hi there. <laughs> and this is our casino floor. We have all the usual games, blackjack, roulette, three-card poker, slot machines, and inside track horse racing. Oh, I see you're interested in the real VIP experience. You purchased one of our exclusive penthouse condominiums. We're talking black card, premium grade, utterly unique luxury, and a remarkable home for you and your loved ones. And of course, on the floor bonuses and opportunities, like free champagne. And that concludes our tour. Wonderful. Whenever you're ready to see the penthouse, head up in the elevator and I will come up and show you around. I hope to see you again soon. You know where to find me. Wonderful, wonderful. Congratulations on your purchase. Your penthouse is divine. Wait until you see it. You won't regret win. this. Stop by and Come by and head up, and I'll meet you there and show you around. Happy day. Luxury valet and concierge services are available to VIP members. Indulge. You deserve it. So, you bought the penthouse. That's wonderful. Nice to see you again. Hello, Miss Baker. Oh, hello, Tom. Uh, boss, do you need any help with, with Mr. Cheng, perhaps? No, Tom. That'll be all. Uh, maybe some champagne. Uh, good idea. Why not? So listen, um, if you need any advice about, well, anything, but in particular business here, Tom's the person to speak to. And always happy to oblige. This truly is a happy day. I must show you around your new home. Uh, Miss Baker, are you sure I can't help with uh, Mr. Uh, you know, maybe that would be a good idea. <laughs> Tell me, boy! I got go back! Mr. Cheng! What 
ginger little guy. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> He's totally fucked like a melon. I, I mean, the job stresses have been... This is Mr. Cheng, our our owner. Mr. Cheng? Oh, boy, she's at the top, <laughs> The good news, sir, is we have sold the penthouse to this lucky man. Oh, let's hug out! Rehab has not worked out so well. His uncle, there's a lot of pressure. To, well, people, isn't this a happy day? Get the champagne. Mr. Chang, I, I had another aggressive call from the Texans, from Avery Duggan. He said you've been pretty rude. The takeover is turning hostile. Let's have this champagne. Where's the karaoke machine? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, like. Mr. Chang said he's very sorry, but he's under a lot of stress. He didn't say that at all. No, but he meant it. Whatever. Avery Duggan is not a nice man. This won't be good for business. If he's serious, he's not above blackmail. <laughs> Jeez. The truth is, well, his uncle is a Kowloon murderer who's made it clear he will kill all of us if this place fails and brings disgrace to his privileged nephew. But that isn't the serious problem. The real problem is Avery Duggan. Yes, the Texan asset stripper who's realized we're fucked and is putting all kinds of heat on us to sell at knockdown prices after he's destroyed this place and your apartment and my career in the process. Anyway, welcome to your new home. I've got to go. Well, if you need anything at all, you know where to find me. <laughs> Rumors are they get a new tattoo for every person they stab. And it's definitely okay for your motorcycle mama to show her breast to your friends. The FIB has been tracking the lost for years. We've jumped from coast to coast and have spent more time in the Midwest than a tornado spotter. When they're not running, Matt, they're smoking. Or so I hear a dangerous new drug on the streets called toilet cleaner. And believe me, your toilet will be cleaned after you've smoked some of it. Mm. Of course, fine wood being fine wood, it's not all about leathery dudes trying to show off on their motorbikes or roided up gangbangers stuck in some 90s time warp. This is the town that made mass murder into nostalgia. Of course, to become truly popular, your murder has to be both unsolved and gruesome. In a town full of alien spotters, adults dressed as zombies, and entertainers dressed as cartoon characters,